Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mike Tech back again with another video. Uh, today, we are going to be taking a look at this control board from Mach 3 and UCCNC. Um, basically, the name of this control board is the Mach 3 V2 1 L. So, you can pick this up on Amazon uh, for like 20 something dollars or something like that. It's a five axis board. No, I take the back. It's actually a four axis board. Um, and you also have your spindle controls over here, which are post width modulation, which for me goes all the way over to this board right here. So this board here, I'm going to be doing a video separately about that board there. But basically, this is a parallel board. So it does not have any USB function besides power so this USB port over here is actually used for power it's not used for um, anything else and then over here you have your parallel right there um, then the back down again right here you got your three relays so you have one two three over here you have your jumpers for those three relays and this one here is like a main on and off um, over here you have your breakout for your three relays so basically the the wires that come from the parallel port go through these chips from the chips it comes out and it goes over here to the relays if you don't want to use the relays you take this and you put this pin you put this jumper on the other pin which I can't really zoom in on because the camera does not want to oh there you go okay so you take this and you move this forward on the other pin and then that cancels out all of these relays and then instead of using the relays you can just break the the pinouts from the relays out to like right here so instead of having it's still very it's still being able to control the relays through the parallel port you can just take the parallel port and directly bypass the relays and just have the output over here if you don't want to use these relays so that's a kind of a nice feature there and then over here you have your outputs so you got your e-stop your probe all your end stops are there as well um, over here you have your breakouts for your stepper drivers right here so there's a total of four on this board here um, and like I said this does not have USB functionality to it so this this is only used for power if you power if you have power coming through your parallel port you do not need to use the um, the USB port you do not need to use the USB port if you have power coming through the parallel port and on top of that, the power over here, so there's a red and uh, black wire. Let me point at it because it's kind of like, there's a whole bunch of wires in the way. But basically, this red and white um, cable right here, this red and white cable supports 15 volts all the way up to 50 volts DC. So don't be putting any type of AC into this. Although, I don't know why you would ever put AC into a board like this because it's not rated for it. Um, what else? What else does this thing right here capable of doing? Let me look at my notes. So obviously you got your post width modulation. Um, you have two outputs for that. So you have your regular. So you got, let me show you. So you got your regular. Wait to the camera to focus. Come on now. Don't give me a hard time. Focus camera. Well, whatever it doesn't want to focus but you just bear with me here um, you have your regular PWM right here these wires are actually backwards uh, so I don't know why it's for my speed controller for my spindle I have to hook it up backwards so the post width modulation actually goes on to the negative and then the negative is actually the positive for some reason so that was kind of weird. That took a while to figure out. And then over here you have your 0 to 10 volts. And then you have your ground, which is the last one right there. And most of these things here are all opto-isolated over here. And then you got some more there. And you got some more over here for the relays. You do have your lights, your indicator lights to tell you if the relay is on or not. And then over here you actually you have another light for your power, and over here you have another light that is for the data. It's, it tells you if you're getting a signal or not. So that's basically everything that I can think of off the top of my head. I don't really know anything else to really mention. Um, 
yeah I think that's it if there's anything else that I want to add to this then I'll add it to it later on but for right now it's just a basic parallel board with USB that's only used for power you cannot put data through this um, you have a whole bunch of inputs and outputs so you have all three of your end stops plus your e stop plus your probe if you're going to use a probe and I think that's it for the inputs and then um, you have four outputs for your stepper motors and then over here you got your three relays your bypass for the relays is right there this one here so if you don't want to use the relays you move that jumper over and then it allows you to bypass the relays and just take the outputs right out there and then you got your spindle control right here which is two spindles actually it's not it's not just one it's two so yeah that's basically everything you need to know about this board and it does come with a parallel cable and it does come with a USB cable which is actually pretty long so that's a nice add-on but yeah um, information for this board is really hard to find so I'll put all the links down at the bottom so you can just click on the link and it will just take you straight to the website where you can see everything and that's it oh yeah you can also go to my website as well and I also have information about this board on my website along with a couple other things too so yeah and I'll have all that stuff down at the bottom if you like this video like if you want to leave a comment any type of question just post it at the bottom and subscribe to see more videos just like this one. Alright, that's it. Bye.